Hi everyone. Okay, in this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you my dirty shop tour. This, this is what my shop looks like now. This is how I've been using it for all my videos. You come in the door. I got my Hirsch workbench here. This is actually my dad's. I inherited it from my from my dad and. He got it in the 70s. I think my mom got it for him for either his birthday or Christmas. And then this cabinet up here is where I have all my hammers and prying tools. I have this little hole here which fits into, well, well this pin fits into that hole so that whenever it closes, it stays straight and then I put these shelves in to hold all kinds of stuff and it doesn't really work well and then let me see if I can back up enough yeah I have pieces and parts everywhere I have project pieces this um, this table they were throwing away at work we were renovating and getting all the exact same kind of tops and that one didn't fit so I brought it home and cut it down uh, I made all these drawers in this old dresser my dad just had the two shelves in there and had some tools in it and I figured eh, why not use it so I made that here's my shop vise let me see here's some more just scraps in my let me see what kind is it it's a oh it is a shop vac it's a shop vac my old one passed away I actually fried the motor in it okay these are my cabinets that I can't open the middle one because again I got stuff in front of it but here's all my drill bits basically and I made these cabinets from George from work gave me gave me the wood he he and his wife had remodeled their kitchen and he gave me the drawers and I, I made this out of it. And this one has my router bits, my Dremel, oh, actually it's a Craftsman, it's not a Dremel, oh no, it's a Craftsman. It, it, uh, they were going to throw that away at work, it wouldn't spin, and here I found an open wire and soldered it and uh, now I can use it. And here's some more of the different roto tool bits and and a uh, jig for finding I guess center for holes drilling holes and stuff and my wife got me this right angle and man has that been a lifesaver sometimes okay I also let me see not so much up there you can't see but uh, nope, let me move back here I also have storage in between the I-beams for some boards. Those are all oak. And then these ones are all maple. Oh, well, these ones are a combination of maple, black walnut, and cherry. And then here's my shopsmith. Oh, well, let me get on this side. Hold on. Out, 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 out. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to move around, but... There, there's my shopsmith. Um, I put those shelves up on the far wall to hold paint. Unfortunately, I have wood stored on top, so I never got the paint up there. And I started, they would throw away those uh, foam pieces. They were, they were in uh, some kind of, what do you want to call them? They were in, oh, these things. They were, they were in these. And you open them up and, and foam was in them, so I, I took the foam out. I started putting them up as baffles but then they stopped using those cases and I haven't been getting any foam so I never got to finish I'll probably just tear it off I'm not sure especially whenever I renovate okay this this is uh, of course there's wood in front of it and boxes uh, but this cart was supposed to be a utility cart that would store stuff underneath it has my compound miter saw my scroll saw a joiner and my grinding grinding wheels but I hardly ever use it like that every once in a while I use the miter saw 
so it's not very effective and it's just taking up space and then have my way way back in the corner you can see it my desk collection and there's my planer and router table that again has more stuff on it and then here's a uh, pellet pine and other pine cutoffs so I try to use the I-beams, utilize the I-beams as much as possible and then here's my Craftsman table saw I got that off of Craigslist and I paid less than a hundred dollars for it but well, well let me back up but I didn't like the stand that it was on so I made my own stand with wheels but I can't really roll it around anywhere because well there's too much stuff so I'm um, oh and I made these shelves to kind of relieve some of the shelf space and th this actually worked pretty well I got a lot of these Ryobi cordless tools at yard sales they must have been like really popular for Christmas a couple years and then everyone was trying to get rid of them. But hey, they work fine for me. I mean, I haven't had any problems. This drill has been really sweet. Uh, you can see here, this is my Makita. I got that back in the 80s. And I still use it. So, it, it, it works. Well, you can't really see too well. The light's just in the wrong place. But I got shelf space up there. I have stuff on there. I also have storage. As you can see different things, my sanding blocks and tape measures and stuff in drawers there. Eventually what I want to do is I want to get rid of this router table. I got that at a yard sale for five dollars so it worked well for me. Uh, I, I can't complain with it but I would like to stick it back here take take this leaf out and put the router back here. But I want to change some things around in the future. Well, the first thing I'm going to change is I'm going to take that bench, take it from that wall, and turn it 90 degrees and put it up against that wall. Then I'm going to have to cut this bench down a little bit and turn it 90 degrees and have bench the whole way along the wall back there. That, that's going to be the start. So that'll be my first video after I get that done. But eventually, I'm going to swap the table saw and the shopsmith. I'm going to bring the shopsmith over here and the table saw over here and turn them around. Mainly because after years of not using anything, I this is dead space and I really want to do something with the space back here. So... There's going to be a lot of change. Uh, after I get it changed, this side here is going to be right at the door, right where the door is. Oh, and that's all my uh, aprons. So the shopsmith will be right here, here at the door. And whenever I use the drill press, I'll have to be standing over in that corner area to use the drill press. But I won't have wasted space like this because I'll be using it. Oh. And that little wheelbarrow, my dad made. I think, I don't know if he made it for me or my brother Chuck, but I still have it. He passed away in 1982, and this is 2023. So I'm happy that I still have something that he made. Oh, let me close this. So that's, that's my shop. That's my messy shop tour, as you can see. It's very, very messy. But this is basically where I do all my projects. Most, most of the stuff is done here on the uh, table saw because I have no room on either of my benches. I got parts of projects all over the place. And then, of course, the bandsaw. Uh, oh, the neat thing is, let me see, I bought this at... The Sears at Pittsburgh Mills Mall, I think just a couple years before the Sears closed. The table saw I bought off of Craigslist, but the compound miter saw, the Delta compound miter saw here is, and this is my 
a vacuum hose for it, so it's not always there. But my father-in-law got that for me for one Christmas. My wife got me the planer, and she also got me the dust collection system on different Christmases. So yay, kudos to her. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Okay, and that's going to be it for this little tour, and hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night, everyone.